Get in, babies. We're going thrifting. Welcome to the Tri-Cities of Washington State, a place partially stuck in the atomic age. And that's our cue to thrift for vintage and one-of-a-kind items in some of the area's best thrift stores. In this series, we're thrifting it up until they shut it down. This is another traveling thrifting mini series for you. This time we are thrifting in central Washington in the Tri-City area right about here. I'm taking you inside some of the best thrift stores that I could find, giving you a picture of what each store is like overall, and of course, hunting for all the fun and interesting stuff along the way. And I can tell you right now, these are some of my best thrift hauls of the year. I will share the thrift haul at the end of each episode and style of the pieces that I found. And we'll have new episodes every Sunday and Thursday until the series is complete. So let's get it. A lot of times when I'm in a new store, I like to start in the dresses. I think it kind of just gives me a sense of what styles are available like in the women's clothing, if there's a lot of vintage or not. Ooh, look at the shoes. This is a good start, this is a good sign. But yeah, let's go look at the dresses. All right, here's all the dresses. Not a huge section, but decent. Like I said, sometimes I will take like sort of a sampling of the dresses to get a sense of what I think might be a sample of what the types of items are in the store. So I'm seeing a lot of stuff like that's modern brands that are like Dress Barn, um, you know, sort of like JCPenney brands and stuff like that. So like really decent like workwear pieces, um, really like lots of cute casual wear. Didn't see any vintage pieces, but I'll show you like an example of what I saw. I also found this little loft uh, jumpsuit in there that's really cute. And I'm also seeing from those two that like the sizes are kind of mixed together so it means I'm gonna have to like kind of just scan through the rest of the items just to make sure if I'm not missing some things in my size. It's not necessarily like all of your sizes in one group so it's better if you have time to like just dig through everything. <laughs> This is so cute. This reminds me a lot of like 90s styles. It might be an older one because the tag is super worn. Like this is 100% Claire Danes in my so-called life. <laughs> so it looks like they have flat rate pricing for the most part and the dresses are $5.99, which is really good. Okay, so the dresses, again, still not a ton of vintage. I threw one, I think, 90s piece in my cart and one other dress, so I'll show you those a bit later. The fitting rooms are open, so I'm hoping to maybe pop in there and try something on, or at least like find a mirror. And I am now right next to the shoes, so I definitely wanna take a look, because I'm seeing some really cool looking boots for fall and winter. Too bad these aren't my size, they're cute. They are Capizia, which is that dance brand of the jacket I'm wearing, this suede jacket. 
and they are 15 but they're a green tag which is on sale today they have a color tag sale that's 25 percent off so yeah it's gonna be a great deal also devastated that these are not my size look how cool <laughs> I'm always curious when a thrift store has a rack that's just like a mix of random things and it's kind of like at the front of the store. A lot of places will pull like what they think are the best items or like just things that they want to mark up. Um, but also it can be an amazing place to find some great deals, especially if you find the tag sales. So let me show you a couple of things on the random rack. dead stock leaves in my size they are $7.99 I'm gonna put them in the cart this is a real leather moto jacket from Wilson's leather and it's the green tag sale so 25 and then on sale 25% off of that which is really good So yeah, I don't know what the common thread is with that rack, but they did have a lot of stuff that was still like new with tags. I put those jeans in my cart for now, so good score. And I'm over by the bags. I want to take a look at these since we're over here, and then I think we'll get into like the meat of like the women's tops and stuff, and like I hope to find some more like vintage gems for sure. The bags are all individually priced too. $5.99. Ooh, I like the strap on that one, that's cute. And it's a green tag, so it's on sale for three bucks. Look at that bag. Looks like maybe an 80s bag to me. It's really in good shape though, it's cool. Yes, it's on sale for $4.50 too. I like to take a look at the DVDs because I have a few movies I'm always on the lookout for. I'm actually looking for this for my uncle to watch. <laughs> Show me the money! Enough is enough. I don't want your life. Like I said, I'm ready to get into the meat of it, so we're over in the women's sweaters and other tops. So besides like looking for styles that I really like and stand out to me, I'm always looking for high quality made pieces. Like this is 100% cotton made piece and it's just really well made and that can make a really good basic for fall and winter.
Hey, so I actually got a last minute copyright flag here because the background music was so loud. If you can't tell, they were bumping it in the store. But anyway, thank goodness for voiceover. I'm just explaining that I think the sampling of the dresses was pretty accurate throughout the rest of the store. And I'm seeing a lot of contemporary workwear pieces, nothing too outrageous or exciting overall, but I'm gonna show you a sampling of some of the good quality basics that I am finding. God, so cute. This orange color is really fun too. This could be a cute sort of like worn open as a shacket, like a fall kind of transitional piece. I gotta go look in a mirror, but that's potentially a very exciting find. be really cool to wear over like a black bralette and then just wear it like maybe half tucked into some trousers just tuck in one side to find some like trouser style pants but there's not a lot of plus size in the women's that I'm seeing in the pants anyway so maybe I should look in the men's section once I get over there and look at the trousers like these super dark black wranglers but they are a size bigger than what I normally get so I'm just gonna leave them Feeling great about what's in my cart actually, and I do want to pop in the fitting room. But first, we've got to cruise through the jackets and then also the men's tops. Um, looking at their like sweatshirts, I do want to look at the t shirts because I can't help myself. I'm a sucker for a, a good graphic tee or a vintage tee, and I'm really curious to see if they have anything, although I'm not seeing a ton of vintage in this particular store. So, Anyway, we are like in the final stretch here. Let's look a little bit more and then we'll pop in the fitting room. Okay, I found this like pocket of Carhartt shirts that are gonna be like an oversized fit on me, but I kind of think they're cool. Like they're all perfectly worn in, and I like this got the big pocket on the front with the logo. Like, am I crazy, or could one of those be really cool tucked into jeans or something? I might try one. Okay, we've seen everything. I did scan through like the household goods. We have a small section in the back, a lot of glassware and like coffee mugs, which is pretty typical in a thrift store. But if you're into that, you can find like, they had some lamps back there, but there was nothing like really worth doing in the video for today. And they had a kid's section too in that room over there. So we do have a little bit more of everything, but for now I'm going to jump in the fitting room so we can kind of keep the thrifting going and let's see how I did. My cart is 
actually like overflowing, so <laughs> this could be pretty good. Okay, this fitting room is nice and like very spacious. I'm gonna try these Lee jeans with uh, some of the tops that I found. Okay, here's the Wrangler blouse. This guy has shoulder pads, which I think is so funny to me for some reason. The jeans are a little tight. I'm not sure if I'll snag these jeans or not, but they're cute, like kind of mom jeans. Eh, I'm kind of feeling like a pass on both of these. All right, let me try the next thing. I really wanted to try this one because I love the colors in it and a lot of y'all sometimes will tell me that I'll pick up stuff on the rack that you're just like, that is so ugly until you try it on. And so then they're like, then I see what you're talking about. So I thought I would try it on to show you like what I was kind of thinking with it. Just like a simple kind of feminine blouse but with some great colors in it. You could do like a contrasting, you know, bottom with it to like really do some fun color blocking or you could wear it underneath like a like a slip dress or like a pinafore style dress and just have this fun pop of pattern and color. Okay, in the t-shirts I found this Branson, Missouri t-shirt. I can't tell, but I think it's a little bit older, like a 90s piece. Um, I love this like blue color. You know I'm a sucker for a tee. I absolutely don't need another t-shirt, but I might snag this one anyway. <laughs> because I have a problem. <laughs> okay, I picked out two of the Carhartt shirts. I like this, it's like kind of the classic brown shade of like orangey brown. This is kind of how I would wear it, just like tucked into high-waisted jeans. Or I could even just take scissors and crop it. So I don't know, I like it. I love this color for fall too. Okay, so here's the gray one and it's a Henley cut with the, the buttons at the top is a Henley. And I can already tell I just don't like it quite as well. I did a different styling. I did a twist and then tucked the knot underneath. I can just tell immediately I like the other one better. So probably will leave this. Hey, I found this dress. It's from Wild Fable, which is a Target brand. And I put it on with my docks because I thought that'd be really cute. It's okay, but I think it's actually maybe one size too small because I feel like the bust is sitting a little bit lower than I would like. Like my bra is even showing a tiny bit. It's hugging a little bit here on my stomach, which I usually like to have a little more space. I think it's maybe like a close but no cigar though. Here's the other dress I found, which is just a simple like kind of daisy ditzy floral print. Did say it was a 4X, so I know it's gonna be oversized, but I thought it'd be fun to put this over t-shirts, to belt it. Like, I kind of like this super loose flowy style and it's cute with my docks. With how loose it is, I could put it even over sweaters that have like a little bit chunkier knit too. I could see that, like a turtleneck sweater under this. Love it. Okay, a little like fur jacket like this is kind of on my thrift list for fall, but um, this one is too small. I kind of knew it would be, but I really wanted to try it. It's actually real Angora, like, um, rabbit fur. But yeah, I'm gonna leave this one. Okay, last thing here is I had to try this DDF blouse again. I think it's so cool in like a, like, suburban mom kind of way, or like a dad core, <laughs> or whatever. I don't know. This is a strong maybe, because I just really, really love the orange stripes, and I don't have anything like this type of pattern and color in my wardrobe at all. So all in all, I'm gonna walk away with like a handful of things. We are gonna check out here and go on to the next stop and keep this little Tri-City Thrifting mini-series going. Community thrift though, really great first stop, great start to the day. Community Thrift was a fantastic first stop on this little tour at the Tri-City Thrift Stores. I love a store with flat rate pricing and I thought theirs was very reasonable. And then of course they have the tag sale, so when you go into the store pay attention to what color tags are on sale that day. And I think you can get some really good deals. I thought their shoe selection was particularly great. And we don't normally talk about this too much on this channel, but they do have a large children's section in that store. So if that's something you're thrifting for, that's the place to go. I don't think this store is the place to go if you are looking for a specific type of item necessarily. Their selection is just not that like huge and comprehensive. This is the place to go if you just feel like thrifting and you have a vague idea of what you'd like to get and you let this store tell you what you need. That said, it's very well organized and neat and the fitting rooms were open. So it was a very shoppable place to thrift. Now I'm gonna show you the haul of what I actually brought home. I got that Carhartt t-shirt and obviously I cropped it. 
Love this color of brown for the fall into the winter. I love styling brown and black together, so I might pair this with some black jeans or skirts. And that's why I love thrifting. You can pick up a t-shirt like this and just sort of experiment with pieces that are already used in a thrift store. I got the Diane von Furstenberg button up. I love the little orange and cream stripes in it. It's just totally unlike anything that I own in my closet and I couldn't resist a little DVF from the thrift store. And a button up with a fun color or pattern like this is really great to style just open over a tank top or t-shirt with your jeans and just sort of like dress up and also like add some interest to an otherwise kind of casual outfit. Couldn't resist this little vintage Branson, Missouri t-shirt. Just love the colors in it. I have been hoping to bring some more of this cobalt blue into my wardrobe because I love styling it with a lot of browns and stuff that I like to wear in the fall and winter especially. I got that dress with the daisy print all over it. Love a dress with pockets. And as you've seen, I loved layering dresses in this style over t-shirts. And I think I'll wear it over turtlenecks for the fall and winter as well. I got that, I think it's an 80s bag, but I just loved like this unique design with this like wooden bar on each side. And it's definitely a really good size for what I like to carry. It's got a cute little clasp and middle section there. And it was on their tag sale. I also got this Holland Oates record and gave it to my cousin. It's music that we have listened to together for a long time and she collects vinyl, so it was perfect. The series continues with new episodes every Sunday and Thursday, so don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications for upcoming videos. And I'll see you guys again soon for the next one.